the thunder of voices and masses in the streets that shook the timbers and conscience of those in the streets. The man at the split of Western where state begins made it clear the change for police was to be the end. Not an option, no option. He made a plan to rethink, rethink, imagine, imagine, bring it to the brink, to end the abuse, the contempt, the lack of respect. All had to be rectified with 400 years of subjugation. Had to be the point of origination. It had to be realized. It had to be dropped. This ongoing misinformation, the lies had to be stopped. He said, take it, Sergio. Whereas, beginning on May 25th, 2020, Following the police-involved death of George Floyd in Minnesota, protests have taken place daily throughout the nation and in communities across New York State in response to police-involved deaths and and racially biased law law enforcement to demand change, action, and accountability. And whereas there's a long and painful history in New York State of discrimination and mistreatment of black and African-American citizens dating back to the arrival of the first enslaved Africans in America. And whereas this recent history includes a number of incidents involving the police that have resulted in the deaths of unarmed civilians, predominantly black and African-American men that have undermined the confidence and trust in our system of law enforcement and criminal justice and such condition is ongoing and urgently needs to be rectified and whereas these deaths in New York State include those of Anthony Baez, Amadou Diallo, Usman Zango, Sean Bell, Ramali Graham, Patrick Dorisman, Akai Gurley, Eric Gardner, amongst others, and in other states include Oscar Grant, Trayvon Martin, Michael Brown, Tamia Rice, Laquan McDonald, Walter Scott, Freddie Gray, Philando Castile, Antoine Rose Jr., Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, and George Floyd, amongst others. Whereas these needless deaths have led me to sign into law the Say Their Name Agenda, which reforms aspects of policing in New York State, and whereas government has a responsibility to ensure that all of its citizens are treated equally, fairly, and justly before the law, and whereas recent outpouring of protests and demonstrations which have been manifested in every area of the state have illustrated the depth and the breadth of the concern and whereas black lives matter and whereas the foregoing compels me to conclude that urgent and immediate action is needed to eliminate racial inequities in policing to modify and modernize policing strategies, policies, procedures, and practices, and to develop practices to better address the particular needs of communities of color, to promote public safety, improve community engagement, and foster trust, and... The response from Nassau was slow and confused, like an addict. On the street with no intended change They refuse And they refuse Coming with denial and excuses And refusal to listen As though it was a chore Knowing all the time What they were throwing was tainted To the core To the Run the clock while we invite them in We wind them We dine them And pretend to be a friend While all this was happening The plot was being set The game was afoot And the intent was to reject Starting from the top, top, reject the connection, reject the input, reject the ideas and reject, 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 damn. So much rejection and then the betrayal in broad daylight and the lies. Opening up on air and online saying, here's our plan to the whole world. While those who were at the table to be a part and to make a plan able said, what are? You told us you had no draft, you lied. 
You said it would be a collaboration You lied You looked us in the eye And made it your business to lie Lie, lie Damned again, over again A simple request was made In the light of evidence relayed That truth be told Not for boast or want to be bold So cleansing would be the call of the day A marker a point of departure so that no voice would be silenced by denials and to allow opponents to be changed to realizers rather than be rivals. The aim was to be seekers for healing instead of enemies. So what you did was refuse to engage on what the man from Street of State said was to be the real parade. It came to pass and this was the simple act. The request Nassau County, the county executive, and the commissioner of police. Here is the request to which I respectfully seek a simple response. In looking at the numbers produced by the Nassau County PD, which were then calculated and analyzed by community members of LIAFPA as depicted in the attachment, and looking at just one slide taken from the presentation offered by Jeff Painter Esquire of the Nassau County District Attorney's Office. Content is listed below. Will you admit that there are serious issues of inequity and racial disparities resulting from arrests by Nassau County Police? You would not answer. You have not answered. Your denial is a disease and your arrogance a sickness that led to just what was expected. A 310 page document. You boast to be a plan for reform, but you know it's only 57 pages of the current norm. Stuffed with filler at best and lined with nothingless in the rest. You prop yourself up as doing this with support. Arms locked with the people, but there must be a retort. You never shared, you never showed, you never offered, and you never told that a plan was being presented. Instead, when questioned, you showed just how you resented being questioned when that was the only path that would uncover, disclose, and unmask the betrayal that was being perpetrated for all to see. And you didn't care. So we rise up and present that which we know will demonstrate what we can do and what we can do. Not being daunted by your purposeful refusal to open your gates and open your eyes and see. The people's plan, we say, is bold, not old. It's open and available to see and to be the change that we want to be. Ours is an invitation. Ours is innovation. Ours is provided with arms open wide to engage and not done under the cover of surprise, but often with the words of the poetess Maya Angelou ringing clear in our ears and before our eyes. You may shoot me with your words. You may cut me with your eyes. You may kill me with your hatefulness, but still like air I rise. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear, I rise into a daybreak that's wondrously clear. I rise. Bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave I am the dream I am the hope of the slave I rise I rise I rise We rise And present the people's plan Rise up Rise up Rise up Rise up Rise up